everyone welcome to the next video and welcome to my channel this week it is basically just called tear wonderful tear everyone, Tuva here. Um, I'm going to talk about a wonderful God today. I'm going to talk about and also perform a ritual to him, to honour him and to um, make him part of my pantheon that I am working with. For he has been calling to me lately, or of late. And at first I thought it was Odin and now I realise it wasn't Odin, it was Tyr. And um, he's a wonderful God. He is a wonderful God and one that was most revered in past times. One that still is, he still has a following of many worshippers and many ones that work with him. But the spotlight went from him to Odin at some point in time. and. Historians tend to think it was around the Viking times because they wanted a god that would be of pure war, pure getting things done, warlike. Whereas Tira was the type of god who was for justice as well as war, um, but also he had sacrifice and compassion. He was a level god. He was also the god of the constellations and the sun and the moon. Hence I have the sun and the moon candles on my altar today. And the sun and the moon up there. He held them both in his hands and is deemed in many statues to be doing this. So I thought it would be great to show you how I connect with this wonderful God. And I tend to go on about Freya all the time doesn't mean I don't work with or am um, enjoying my time working with the other gods. This god is ideal if you have things going on in your life that you need, you know, some justice maybe or some compassion or that you need to be able to sacrifice your time or energy. It's not always about the war sacrifice. It's not always about the blood sacrifice. The reason I use blood a lot in my rituals is because I find it is my sacrifice. It is personal. But to everyone else out there, you can use whatever you like. So, who was he? Well, the great story of him was that Fenrir was being a bit of a naughty boy. He was quite young and he was getting bigger and bigger as time went on and he was wanting to fight with all the other gods and goddesses and he was pronouncing himself as better than them, stronger than them and that he was the be all and end all would take over. Well all the other gods tried to get him put to one side so that he would stop what he was doing and nothing was working and it was just making Fenrir really angry and he did not like what they were doing. So eventually Tira decided enough's enough but how am I going to do it? So he got in touch with the dwarfs and he said I need you to make me a binding for Fenrir because he's out of control and we need to be able to stop him doing what he's doing. What can we use? Well in the writings it tells you, yes, there was things like, I think it was fish, breath, the noise that the cat makes, the beard of a woman, the spittle of a bird, the rocks of the mountain, and so it went on. <laughs> things that you would find very difficult, I mean extremely difficult, especially the one about the fish breath, and the bird spittle. And things like that but he managed to get them to do this binding and so he said to Venria let us tie you up 
I will get out, he says. I will get out. I always do. He said, but I'm a bit suspicious that you want to do it and the others have always been the ones to do it. He said, so I'm going to ask you as a point of trust. I want you to put your hand in my mouth. So if I can't get out the bindings, I will punish you. To which Tierra said, okay, that's fine. And he put his hand in his mouth. But when Fenrir found out that he couldn't get out of the bondage that he'd been put in, he promptly bit Tira's hand right off. To which all the other gods laughed. And it shows the sort of god that he was. A considerate one, but one that would go back on his words. And that was his downfall, the fact that he cheated Fenrir. And he's the one to lead the battle. Um, so his sort of popularity sort of went down over the years and Odin seemed to be stepped up. But at the end of the day, he's a brilliant god for justice, he's a brilliant god for the, the family, for all your concerns, as well as war, as well as all that. It's not just about war with him, it's not just about the dark side of things. It's his way of balancing. He likes to balance. Now his um, symbol is normally, or can be, the sword. It's also the colours associated with him. As you can see on my altar, I've got red, dark red, pale blue, grey. It's also very strong with the animal kingdom. So I have an antler on here and I also have bird bones. He's got quite a few assets to him that when you start to work with him, it all comes to light and you, you start to get to know him. It's like a friendship and it's really lovely. And it's not just for the men. The women get on with him really well as well. So don't be put off by the fact that he is a, the, a god and was the top god at one point in time and still is to some people. So we mustn't forget that, that there are people out there that don't deem Odin as the top one, depending from where you come from, depending on how you feel about Odin and how you feel. It's a very personal path. It's a very personal thing within. So what I do also is I also have the rune. And that is what I put on my forehead and on my hand. The hand denoting the hand that he lost. And this, the knowledge of who he is. The sacrifice that I have made is obviously my own. Within, I'm not going to say it on here, but you can gather. Which I put in a little pot here.
going to do is I'm going to start to call upon him. I'm going to get into the frame of mind and let's see where this leads us guys. So to start with you need to get into the zone. So what you normally or what I normally do is I normally do deep breaths. I normally rock and I normally hold my start. This aids me to do these things. It's a way that I connect. But everybody's different and everybody does it their own way. Tyr, God of War, God of Compassion, God of Justice, God of the Moon and the Sun, God of had the day Tuesday named after you, Tira, who was very important and still is to a lot of people, I call upon you today and I'm going to make an offering to you, I'm going to give it to you and leave it on my altar till I see a symbol or something that shows me your answer. Tira, you are a wonderful God, a God that holds all things in esteem, that's not just about anger and war, but is about people and getting things right. I call you this day to come into my soul and my heart, to be a part of my life. I want to be a part of yours. Hail, dear. This is the sacrifice that I wish to make. An honorary sword to you. I dedicate this sword to you for the part of you who is war and death. God of my heart, God of my soul, God that I wish to be close to, and tea us. I anoint you to connect the both of you as you are connected, but in my personal life I connect you both to me. That was a very simple ritual. It's a simple way of connecting, a very simple method to do. I hope this has helped you today. I'm not going to make a huge long one. I want to do things that maybe interest people rather than things I think will interest them. So I hope this has helped. There are so many gods that you can 
connect with and work with and get to know and it makes it more exciting makes it more interesting and it gives you more knowledge it also helps you to use them for different things that's going on in your life which is what it is about using what you've learned and not just stagnating in it so yeah anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there thanks to any new subscribers really appreciate it thanks to those that are definitely returning I really do appreciate that and to those that are always with me thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I love you loads <laughs> anyway wherever you are whatever time of day night or evening it may be I wish you the best ever have some